Alright, here's an unusual fan. We are looking at a very unusual fan today. Here we're looking at an ERS, Energy Reduction Systems, American Art Series. Now this fan is very, very rare. This is an extremely rare fan. And I don't know how I managed to get my hands on one, but I just did. It came off of Facebook Marketplace, not too far from me. And I don't know how I did it. I really don't. I got very lucky and I was able to uh, be the first one to come and get it. But like I said, this fan is extremely rare and unusual. And the reason I say unusual Um, I'll show you why right here. So this is the control for it right here on the bottom. You pull this and the light comes on. You turn this and this rod runs up through the motor shaft all the way up into this lower canopy up here. And it turns a cardboard box control. It does have trim pot, and when I got this fan, of course, I had to adjust it. Like every every uh, cardboard box control fan I get, I need to adjust that. But now this one has the amber side band. There are also models of fan just like this one that have a red side band, but this one is the model with the amber side band. It's got these very ornate looking blade irons, sort of like a trident type thing with leather vent stuff, sort of screens here, whatever you want to call it. It's, I wouldn't even consider them vents because it's completely blocked off, but it sort of looks like a Hunter original almost type style. It's got leather in there. All, all this here is leather. And here are the blades. And um, you can see the flywheel in there. It's a rubber flywheel. It uses a universal stack motor with this rubber flywheel here. And you can see it's getting a bit beat up. If you can see, it's cracked. This part's no big deal since there's metal in there. The, really, the only concern is these little arms here. I don't know where you can get a new flywheel for this thing, but this flywheel seems to have uh, a bit of life in it still. You can see if I do this, it still has some flexibility to it. And um, if you look up top, you can sort of see in there. And as you can see, it uses a squirrel cage type thing up here that cools the motor when when it runs so we'll uh start with the light we'll just pull this and that turns the light on now how it works is i'll put pictures or maybe not pictures i'll probably just show it at the end of the video but i'll show what's inside the upper canopy at the end of the video and whatnot but you pull this it pulls this rod, which it's one piece that goes all the way up and there's an arm that attaches to it, which pulls a standard on and off switch. It's very interesting how it works, but we'll look up here again and you can see the squirrel cage much better. Uses five light bulbs all the way around. I'll go on the other side just for the hell of it. And when I say I use the universal stack motor, it's not just like any old motor. Like the definition universal, it's uh, the company name universal. But we'll start with the lowest speed so you can see. I pull this for the light, I'll leave it on, and then the lowest speed, you turn this all the way, 
just like that. This thing runs incredibly well. Now, this fan's got quite an interesting story. Not only how I got it, I mean, I already explained how I got it, but what I mean is down by the Jersey Shore, there is a restaurant that had a whole bunch of these, at least four or five, maybe six of these installed. And this is all what the seller told me when I picked this fan up. There were at least six of them, I believe, installed. And the restaurant owner, for whatever reason, was getting rid of this one and offered it to this guy's dad. So the seller's father was talking to the owner of this restaurant and he said, oh yeah, I'll, I'll take it. And he took it home and back in the 80s or whatever, maybe the 90s, I don't know, he installed it in his house, which is where I picked it up from. I actually removed it from the house. But, um, so this guy's dad installed it in his house. And in case you were wondering what happened to the other fans in that restaurant I have no idea um, we looked on Yelp and they were, were all replaced with these crappy hunters these like goofy uh, summer breezes or whatever I have no idea what happened to the other ones but this is the only one that remains now in my possession I have no idea what happened to the others. I sure hope to God they weren't thrown away, but if they were, I mean, I would be quite upset if I heard the rest of them got thrown out. I mean, I hope they were, like, given to an antique store or something. I mean, I don't know how anybody could look at a fan like this and decide to throw it away. I mean, that's just... I mean, this fan is incredibly gorgeous, too, in my opinion. But we'll turn the speed up here. I take this here and rotate it towards me. So that's uh, a bit faster. If you listen closely, you can hear a noise too. Got a buzz to it. Yeah, sometimes this fan complains when you try to run it on a, some random speed like this. Oh, and one thing I forgot to show was the reverse switch, which I'll show in just a minute. Basically, all the components to this fan are in a lower canopy, which you can see up there. Let's uh, show that reverse switch. The reverse switch is way up there on top of the lower canopy. You can see that little black toggle, toggle switch. Let's turn this up a bit. And now you can see it's complaining even more. It always does that for whatever reason. So I'm not going to run it on this speed too long just because of that. This is my absolute favorite fan in my whole collection. I mean, this fan is just incredible.
and it becomes silent on the full power as you can see and this is the fastest speed it goes which it now runs silent We'll shut it off now. If I come around here, I'll stop it. Very carefully, I'm extremely nervous with this fan. I'll show you that reverse works. That's the reverse switch up here push it that way and there it goes in reverse and this and everything works very cool fan for sure I love this thing a lot. I would be considering putting this in the fan museum if they didn't have one already, but they have one already, so there's really no point. But, um, stop it one more time. See, there's a the reverse. Because I'm so nervous with this fan. I'm gonna reach up here and then unplug it. There's that fan back there. getting a screwdriver and a step ladder so I can show you what's in this upper canopy after it spins down you can see I unplugged it I really love this tassel on here too and also I want to show you it did have something here. Here it is. This piece is not original, but it was hacked onto here. Basically, or it was like this way or something to extend this because it was on a higher ceiling. So it would drop it down so the tassel hung lower. So you can just reach the control. But that did not come with it. That was just kind of hacked on. But there it is stopping now. Try to do this here. This is the only screw that holds the upper canopy on. Try to be very careful. You can see all the components up here closer. I ended up disassembling this entire fan completely. 
because that bottom white thing on the bottom there was completely covered in dust. But yeah, there's a screw that comes out. Don't lose that. Then I'll lift this. And there's everything. All right, so I'm back here. Um, I'm gonna explain how this ERS fan works. So, you can see the tassel thing here where you pull it down and it operates the light. So, this shaft here, this little rod here, runs all the way up. You can see it goes into the motor and all the way up here to this lower canopy. I have a pair of pliers holding it up. But, um, it goes all the way up there and you can see I can pull it. Now, let's get a better view of this. This right here is a standard on and off pull chain switch that you see in any old fan. It just connects down on this thing. And I'm going to show it the best I possibly can. You can see the knob or the nut that goes on the chain. And I'm going to come around to the other side so maybe we can see this better. Just got to be very careful here. The canopy's not being held up too well. Here we go. See? Just a standard on off pull chain switch. Right in there. And you can see the rod has this little foot thing. Right uh, there. This little thing here. And connects to that little metal piece. Which is this. So when you pull on the chain, look, the rod pulls that down. See how that works? And then when you turn this to control the fan, that same little foot thing or whatever you call that, I don't even know what to call it. See, it rotates. See it rotating in there? And that controls the cardboard box control. You can see right there. And see, there's a light control. This is just a little cover for the capacitor wire connections. And then um, this in here is a reverse switch. And I'm um, not too sure what this whole thing is going on inside. But you can see this a bit better in there. Let me uh, get this out of here. But that's the reverse switch right there, as you can see, and that's just right there. So it's very neat how this works. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's all I have for this ERS American Art series. Extremely rare fan, and like I said, I was very lucky to find this, but. If anyone knows where a fly, I can get a flywheel for this thing, please let me know. But yeah, that's all I have for the ERS American Art Series.